Jamie Stevens here from the Bring Go Train to Brantford campaign here with our MPP Dave Levac. Dave, can you tell us a little bit about what's been going on behind the scenes about bringing Go Transit to Brantford? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we got some good news um, in about 2003, 2004, but even before that, when I first got elected in 1999, I had meetings with Alderman Joe Brennan. Okay. Even before they changed counselor, yeah. it was Alderman Joe Brennan. And Joe and I had some really interesting conversations to try to kind of form a, a kind of a consistent attitude towards go attaching to Brantford okay. because of it was coming to Hamilton. Yeah. In 2003 when we were elected we introduced places to grow. The legislation that said here's the way in which Ontario is going to grow and I had a conversation with the then Minister of, of Infrastructure David Kaplan and they created these little nodes of spots where they thought what the growth was going to happen in Ontario. We were a little node and then Hamilton was a big node. So we talked to uh, talked it over, and I kind of took him into the woodshed and said, "No way." Yeah. And they changed it to large nodes for Brantford and everybody else, and that included a Ministry of Transportation study that said that we were really close to being able to be on the list. Mm -hmm. So I pushed. We got on the list. We actually are on the list for okay. the Ministry of Transportation for Go Service, but it's a 30-year plan. Yeah. And that's where the problem is. So we now have to work together. And that's why I'm glad that your group is doing what it's doing because at the grassroots level we need everybody on side. So as we continue to lobby and, and continue to meet, I've set up two sets of meetings already. Uh, Mark Littell put a uh, task force together. That was the last of four that I've been on uh, to, to continue to work towards this. And now we need uh, everyone working together. So my, uh, my congratulations goes out to your group, but I would also say, we, but we have to do this together. It can't be one off over here, one off over here. That's the idea. We are on the list. We do have a go service plan, okay. but it's 30 years out okay. and it starts with bus. So yeah. what I want to do is to get everybody together. Our growth is, is starting to happen. And as that goes with the university, with all of this stuff sure. and the reasons for us to have go, yeah. and the recent VIA, what we should be doing is putting a, a strategic plan together. And I've spoken to the mayor and I've spoken to Phil McCallman. We're all going to get together and we're going to go out to the public and have people come into this large group so that we can tell the province, go, because it's an independent body. Mm -hmm. We can tell MTO mm -hmm. and we can tell the federal government and VIA, this is what we want as a community. Yeah, let's touch on the Via Rail thing for a minute. A lot of people are upset with the with the parking um, changes to Via. What's your thought on, on that? Well, I think Via has outlined what its strategic uh, growth is going to be, and they didn't have commuter tra traffic in their their plan. plan. They're looking at it as a corridor ex experience. And, and if you see the commercials, they always talk about these long hauls, you know, go, you know, see the country sure. via VIA. VIA is great at what they do. Exactly, but they're, they're not sensitive the to the commuter market. So what's happened is, is that they've established their policy, and uh, our MP is going to be working on seeing if we can tweak that policy to prevent this loss of opportunity. In the meantime, we put the two together. Sure. We take a look at saying, hey, Via, go ahead and, and grow the way you need to grow. It's a positive thing. It, it's a positive yeah. thing, but it's, it's, it, it's, it's a negative impact sure. on a very large group of people, 100 to 200 people, and growing. Precisely why we've got to put the two pieces together. As Via does this, we need to elevate Go. It's going to help us yeah, for sure. with our fight for Go, because if, if we get to turn around to the officials at the MTO and the officials at Go and the officials at the government and say, we're losing the opportunities that we did have for our commuters, yeah. it gives us one more feather in our cap yeah. to allow us to, to get Go. Yeah, and that and that's all. I'm all for that. I've been working on that since 1999. So you were saying that uh, the mayor and and the M, you guys are all getting together. Yes. Uh, what's the next step in terms? Next of step is that you do, yeah to do a plan and and in, in, and invite the players, okay. especially the grassroots groups. And that's what we're trying to do is gather. Everybody. Exactly. As you gather those people, and we start to put together ours, is to pull them together and say sure. we're going to do this as a whole community. The problem is in the political world when you do these little one-offs. And it's one little group saying it. It's not the same sure. volume as the whole community say it. The political leadership, the executive leadership, the commuters themselves, and the whole community saying, we're big boys and girls now, so yeah. give us go. Well, and I've been saying in a few interviews, it's like the Winnipeg Jets. 
you know, the, the city got behind bringing the team back. Everyone said it wouldn't happen. Now oh, you got it. And I, and, I, and I think that that's exactly why um, these kinds of things are so important to, to, to attach ourselves to. As a politician, I'm looking at this and saying the people are speaking. Yeah. Grassroots is talking. Well, how do we work together to, at, and we're not at odds. I don't want to be at odds. No, no, and then we're, we're trying we, to keep this very positive. Yeah, yeah what we want to do is to say, as we get these strong pieces, pull them all together and speak as one voice. Yeah. It, it, it's going to make a large difference. 30 years is a long time to wait for a go service. Yeah. So our objective is, yes, we got it, we're on the radar, but now we want that radar zoomed in and pinpointed as fast as possible. Have you talked to local business owners in, in Brantford about Go service? Like in the what, previous the task force, the yeah. previous task force, there are a lot of individuals who actually educated me about because what I didn't realize is that as much as we have people that want to go to Toronto, yeah. there are people that want to come here, come here yeah, so sure. that executives from companies can yeah. live in Brantford and commute back to yeah, work. Yeah, all their life is great here. They love it. Yeah. They love it. And, and then the Toronto people get to come in and as much as they go out. So it, it, it is a it is an intelligent way to take a look at how we want to commute and it's less expensive. Yeah. And quite frankly, it's more dependable and more reliable. And geared towards commuters. And, and it's built yeah. for commuters. <laughs> built for commuters. Um, so thank you for taking time to talk to us. Can you just give a message to the people on our Facebook group? About well, well, all i got to tell you is thanks very much for what you're doing. Stay with us and as soon as we kind of put the pieces together, come on board and go on go.